Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozorg, and in this video, I want to talk about the preview of one of our premium videos named Damage Analysis of Notched Specimen in Tensile Test via Abacus. How to ask your video related questions? Don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have about the explanations presented in this video using the comments below. We try to answer all questions regarding the video details in the comments below. This is the preview of one of our premium tutorials named Damage Analysis of Notched Specimen in Tensile Test via Abacus. According to this paper, the damage analysis of notched specimens in a tensile test is simulated. This paper investigates the effect of stress triaxiality on the fracture strain of steel specimens via conducting experiments and simulations on the notched specimens. One of the suggested specimens is simulated and verified with the paper results in this tutorial. Now I want to show you the paper. About the descriptions of this tutorial, the duration of this tutorial is 1 hour and 15 minutes and the size of its zipped file is 233 megabytes and its tutor is Amir Hossein Mirza Bazar. This is a schematic of the geometry of the specimen. The width of the specimen is large enough to have a plane strain condition at the center of the specimen. And we apply tensile load to this specimen. Mechanical properties are presented in the paper. They include density, Poisson's ratio, Young's modulus, and the true stress versus plastic strain curve. Using the data graph digitizer, points of a stress a strain curve are extracted from this picture and imported to the abacus property module. In the premium tutorial, this specimen is simulated. As the full geometry has three symmetry planes, using all of the symmetric conditions, the 1 8 model can be created. Then, symmetric boundary conditions must be defined in the abacus. This vertex of the 1 8 model is the center of the full geometry that is plane strain. In this tutorial, we will obtain the red curve that is related to the numerical simulation presented in the paper. As there is no information about the damage evolution behavior in the paper, we have imposed a further assumption for damage evolution. In the paper, the simulation is conducted until the damage initiation point, and the damage propagation region is not simulated. Now I want to talk about general modeling procedure of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will define progressive damage and instantaneous damage in separate models and each condition will be modeled using both of the Abacus standard and Abacus explicit solvers to compare their results and investigate the capabilities of each solver in conducting such simulations. Now I want to talk about the results that we will obtain in the tutorial. This is the contour of damage initiation criterion. And as you can see, the damaged region is not perpendicular to the loading direction in the ductile fracture mechanism. There is near 45 degree inclination to the loading direction. This is the loading direction and this is the damaged region that is not perpendicular to the loading direction and there is a 45 degree inclination. And as you can see here, some elements are fully damaged and deleted during the simulation. And this is the contour of damage parameter. And as you can see here, these elements are damaged and this region is not perpendicular to the loading direction. And here some of the elements are colored in red. These red elements will be removed in the following increments. And this is the curve of mice's stress versus equivalent plastic strain. 
This is the elastic region. In the elastic region, the mice's stress increases, but the equivalent plastic strain is equal to zero. And this is the plastic region, and this is the damage initiation point, and this is the damage evolution region, and this is the fracture point. And we have defined the damage initiation point in the ductile damage criterion in the property module. In order to compare the results and investigate the capabilities of each solver in conducting such simulations, the model will be solved using Abacus Explicit Solver. And this is the result of the complete specimen that is obtained by mirroring the 1/8 model. In the 1 8 model, one fourth of the cross-sectional area and half of the length of the complete specimen is modeled. This is one fourth of the cross-sectional area and this is half of the length of the complete specimen. So to plot the force displacement curve of the complete specimen, the calculated reaction force must be multiplied by 4 and the applied displacement must be multiplied by 2. And this is the comparison of obtained force displacement curves. The red curve is obtained using the Abacus standard solver and the blue curve is obtained using the Abacus Explicit Solver. In these simulations, we assume that the damage behavior is progressive. In the next part, the displacement at failure will be set to zero to simulate the instantaneous damage and brittle fracture mechanism. In the brittle fracture mechanism, the pattern of the damage region and element removal is different from the ductile fracture mechanism. This is the contour of damage initiation criterion and here as you can see the damage region is perpendicular to the loading direction and these elements are removed during the simulation. This is the comparison of obtained force displacement curves using the instantaneous damage assumption. The yellow curve is obtained using the Abacus standard solver and the green curve is obtained using the Abacus explicit solver. And here you can see a sudden drop in the force displacement curve. This sudden drop is due to the definition of instantaneous damage. You can contact me by using Telegram or WhatsApp and you can send email to me. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk WhatsApp and we can make a special tutorials to your order. We can conduct high quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Now I want to suggest you several related videos of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.